Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Hey guys, I'm revisiting a tutorial um, that I created where the volume had some issues. I had the volume down too low. So I'm going to recreate that tutorial with a different image here in CF Spark. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an image that we've um, created in CF Spark or that you've downloaded from another creator in CF Spark and we're going to upscale that image in Playground AI. So we're taking it from one AI software to another. Okay. So this is the image. And you can download any creator's artwork from Creative Fabrica Spark. If you have a CF Spark account, then it's free. If you don't, then you will get a small fee, but it's much less than what you would pay if you purchased an image from Etsy. All right, so you would click on download, and then you're going to get a zip file here in the bottom left corner. You would click on that zip file. And then you would select it and extract. Now, I'm not going to be extracting this because, or maybe I'll just go ahead and do it. It may tell me I've already done it, but you'll just click extract. And you're going to end up with the zip file um, downloaded. So we'll go to our downloads here. And you can see that we have this um, water uh, watercolor hip hop soulful. African American, blah blah blah, and then we have a folder down here, and you can see I have two because I had already did it. So this is the extra copy, so that that's why that one has a one um, there. So what you would do is we're now going to go now that we've downloaded that zip file from CF Spark to our computer we're going to go and, and we're going to retrieve it in Playground AI. So we're going to go over to Playground AI. And in Playground AI, a couple of things I'm going to show you on the right side. The model that I'm using, you have a choice from three. Um, I'm using Stable Diffusion 1.5. And I'm going to leave the image and dimensions at whatever it comes in as on this image. My prompt guidance, I'm going to have that at 15, and my quality and details, I'm going to leave that 40. And for the sampler, you have a couple of choices here. Now, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see all these if you're using the free version of Playground AI. I um, pay for Playground AI, so I have a few more options than a free user would, and I'm using KEuler, A underscore Euler. But I'm just going to leave this at one image. So that I can play around with it before I upscale it. And then I'm only, um, I'm going to make sure that my session is private. Okay. Now, in order to get that image into Playground AI, we're now going to focus on the left side of our screen. So we're going to come down to the bottom and we're going to click on this plus sign. And when you click on that plus sign, we're going to go to our downloads folder and we're going to grab that watercolor image. And I'll just pick up one since that's the one we just brought in. And we're going to bring that into Playground AI. Now, the closer that you want this image, the closer you want to have to the original art from CF Spark, as far as the look of the image, then you're going to come down. You want to make your image strength higher. So I'm going to bring this over to about a 75. Okay, and then you do have to put something in the prompt. So I'm just going to type in the prompt. Hmm, got something going on down here. Our servers are currently overloaded. Oh, they're blowing y'all up, huh? Okay, there we go. African mana, African American woman. You have to type something in. 
Okay. Once you type something in there, then you um, can add a filter. You can use this remove from image. So sometimes you get those images and see a spark it has extra fingers or extra legs. You can actually turn this on where it says remove from image by dragging that radio dial to the right. And you'll know it's on because you'll have the white over to the right and then it'll be blue on your left. And then you would just type in what you don't want in that image. Extra fingers, extra feet, blurriness, extra facial features. You can type those little things in here. So you type it in and you put a comma to separate it. And then you have several filters that you can actually add to your image. But right now, we're just going to bring in the image, okay? And we want to improve the quality of the image. So at this point, we're just going to click on Generate. <clears throat> and there is our image right there, okay, that we just took from CF Spark. So we're going to bring up CF Spark. There's the image, and there's the image. So you can see it brought it in. <clears throat> it brought it in from CF Spark, and we got it in its likeness, okay? Once you get the image into CF Spark, if you want to upscale this image to make it better, all you do is you come up here to the top right and on actions, you're going to click on this plus sign and you're going to select upscale by 4x. Okay, so you can do an upscale or you can do uh, face restoration or you can generate variants of this particular image. Okay. Um, and so what we're going to do right now, we're just going to say upscale by 4 X. And it's going to upscale that image for us. Okay. Now, once it upscales this image, you're going to have to click on download. If you click on cancel, it's going to not keep your, up, your, um, your upscale. Okay. You would basically be saying, I don't want the upscale. So you're going to click on download. And it's going to put your, your, your image in a PNG file in the left-hand corner here. You're going to click on that. And <clears throat> it came up on my other screen over here. But I'm going to right-click it and save as. Okay. So I'm going to put it in a new folder just so I can make sure that I have the one that I brought in from Playground AI, and I'm just gonna save it, all right? Now, you're gonna click on close, and this is basically the same image that we brought in from CF Spark without the upscale. <laughs> now, if we want to do a face restoration on it, we're gonna delete out the image that's here, and we're gonna go back, click on the plus sign, and we're going to go and grab that image that we just put in the Playground AI folder. Okay, so this is the upscaled one. We're gonna put this back on a 75. Okay, we're gonna leave everything else the same. And <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna generate. So we didn't have to type in anything. It brought our image in. Okay, and this is the upscaled version. So now if we want to do a face restoration, we have to go back to actions and say face restoration. Okay, and there it has upscaled the face. And then you have to do the same thing, download. And we're now going to take that image and I'm going to say save as, and I'm gonna put it in that same playground folder. Okay. And close. Okay, so this was the image from CF Spark. This is the upscaled image. Now. You can also create variations of this image. They're going to be very minor because we have this on a 75. 
So to do that, you would click on this little um, plus sign here that says create variations. You would click on that. And because we have this on one, it's only gonna give us one variation, okay? So that was our initial. And this is the variation, very minor. The earring is a little bit more pronounced here than on this one, but very minor. Now, if you want to add a filter, you can do that. And if you want to work with that particular image, you can. But we can replace our upscaled and our face restoration image, which is this one. We can take this, click on actions, and say use as an image to image. And it's going to take this image and replace it here. So we're going to do that. And then what we're going to do from there is we're going to place some filters just to see what the filters look like, okay? So we're going to come up to filters. And you have a lot of options. I'm not going to go through all of these guys. I'm probably going to pick one or two just so you can see what they look like and what they do to the image. One of my favorites, I like Lush Illumination. But it all depends on what the image is and how it's going to look. So let's just take a look. So we're going to apply a filter to our upscaled and face restored image. And we're going to generate. And again, I'm only keeping it on one. Okay, so that one, it kind of changed the mouth a little bit. Um, let's see what else. You can tell the mouth is a little bit more closed and the eyes are a little bit more round. So that's your Lush illum um, Illumination. You can do face restoration on here. You can um, upscale it by four times, but you would have to do it twice. You would do the upscale, download it, bring it back from your computer, and then do a face restoration, okay? So it is a little bit more time consuming. All right, so that's the Lush Illumination. Um, also, her eyebrows are a little bit different on this one. Um, and then we can come in and we can say, you know, we want to try something else. Let's go with gradient symmetry. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, now the mouth is kind of closed. You don't see the teeth. Okay, so you can see the difference between Lush Illumination and Radiant Symmetry. And we'll try one more. Um, let's go with cinematic warm and generate. Okay. And again, you got some small differences. It's got a little bit more blue pronounced in that hair there. Eyebrows are just a little bit different. Um Okay, not major, but you can tell the difference, okay? But again, you will have to, uh, if you want to do a face restoration, you do have to go here and do the face restoration. And after it finishes, you have to download it. And then if you want to upscale it, you have to bring that face restored image from wherever you saved it on your computer and then use it to get the um, upscale. Okay. So I'm not going to download it. I'm going to click close. That means that my image has no changes. Okay. So a little bit more time consuming. Um, but that is how you can bring in your images from CF Spark and not just have to be stuck with that one image in CF Spark and wish you could do more with it. Um, get in the habit of practicing with those images that have the extra limbs. Um, because Playground AI will remove those extra limbs for you. And so if you got a really great image in CF Spark and you've been deleting them because of the extra limbs, stop deleting them, save them, especially if they're good. And the only issue was the extra limb or blurriness. Stop deleting them because you're wasting your credits, you know, because they charge you your credits every time you um, generate an image. So in CF Spark, when you go in to create art, every time 
you're losing some of you every time you um ignite you're losing credits okay so if you're deleting those images or not using those images then you're you just lost a credit okay stop deleting your images and see a spark especially if it's only a limb issue or blurriness issue bring them into upload them into playground ai and and go from there okay all right guys well stay tuned because my next tutorial is going to be how you can bring these images from playground uh from cf spark to mid journey and it's going to change your whole life on digital art okay all right guys if you're currently in my facebook group i want to thank you guys so much for following me via Facebook. If you would like to join my Facebook group, the name is Candoris is Cricket and Creative Crafters. I will link it in the description of this tutorial. If you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you are seeing me for the first time and you like my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And definitely please share, 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 share for everybody. Okay. All right, guys. Um, and again, I do apologize for the volume issues on the other video, but now you have it on how you can upscale your images from CL Spark and stop deleting those images or not using those images because of the extra limbs or blurriness or what have you. Upscale them in Playground AI. All right. All right, guys. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. And you know, my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.